guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you with another exciting video because all my videos are super exciting, but this one's special because I'm gonna be telling you about the Bella Pierre liquid lipsticks. If you haven't heard of them, they are mind blowing. So if you wanna know some swatches and where I picked mine up, how much I got mine for, and how I discovered them, just keep on watching. <laughs> talk about how I discovered this liquid lipstick. It is the Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Rim. I don't know exactly how to say it. I think it would be French. That would be my guess. But this is what they look like. I'm just showing you the shade that I'm wearing now. This is what the name is, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And I discovered this in my BoxyCharm. And I did pick up Antique Pink, which I will be showing you. Initially, when I tried this on, I was like, it's a little drying. But you know, it's really, it's, it was different. I've never felt a liquid lipstick like this before. I have tried many, but I have never tried one just like this. And I fell in love with it instantly. After I found out how it wears, how it applied, the DOFA applicator, everything, I just fell in love with it one after another. So immediately I went onto the website and I tried to purchase some. And I think it was buy one, get one, which they were 20 bucks a piece, I believe, but it was ending up to be $10 a piece. Well, I had went to TG Maxx not that long ago, and I did find four shades for $7.99. These are the shades. That I know they're kind of like folly. Well, some, but I absolutely love them. It came with four shades for $7.99 versus, you know, $10 per, and that was with their discount, which was buy one, get one, which would have been $10 a piece, like I said. Well, I just wanted to tell you guys, these are amazing. If... I had to compare it to a liquid lipstick that I own. This would be a mixture of ColourPop and NYX liquid creme lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and a little bit better. I absolutely love these. I can see why. I would pay $20 for these because I was this close when I saw it was like 20 bucks a piece. I'll get at least one or two shades. But when I saw it was buy two, buy one, get one free, I was going to buy like four of them because I didn't want the sale to go away. And then when I went to TJ Maxx, I ended up finding, like I said, four for seven and nine. So I was mind blown. One of the shades I do have because I did pick it up in my BoxyCharm, but I will be sharing all the shades with you. I'm actually wearing one of the shades now, and this is the nude. And this is the nude right here. This is what they look like on my lips, but I will show you a swatch. This is what it looks like. It is such a pretty nude. It's more on the pinky nude, and I think that's what works for my skin. Not that I don't like the peachy nudes, but I think this one just works much better for my skin. So I'm gonna give you a pretty little swatch right here. I wanna make sure I get enough space to swatch all four. So this is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. It is like the perfect rosy nude. Did you see how that applied? And this is what the DOFA applicator looks like. I really wanna show you guys what it looks like. The only thing I would change about it is when you dip it in and you take the wand out, there is a lot of product. So I usually have to like scrape a little bit off. But this is what it looks like. I love that point. It works perfect for my lips. So that was the first one. That was the nude. I will show you the next one that I have, which I think came in BoxyCharm. This is the one that came in BoxyCharm. And this one is called Antique Pink. It is the same nudie mauve, but a little bit darker. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this one. This is more of a rose color, definitely more of a rose color. It is a little bit more deeper, but again, look how beautiful that is. And they dry matte, completely kiss proof. I just put this on right before the video. It does not transfer whatsoever. And if you do not let it dry when you go like this, it will stick, but eventually that goes away. Like right now, there is nothing, it does not come off. I kid you not, this will last through dinner. We're about to go eat dinner at the beach and this will last through dinner. It's amazing. So watch how hard it will be to take this off once you guys try this on if you buy this it is so hard to take it off your lips you have to use like an oil based makeup remover all right next is my favorite color when i saw this i got so excited this one is called hot head and this is what it looks like immediately you think it's a red but it's more of a hot pink with a hint of like a red tone but it's definitely more hot pink than i would say red and i'm going to swatch it for you guys and it this is my absolute favorite color this one is a little bit patchier because it is a red, and you know how sometimes reds can be a little streaky, but if you go on with two coats, no problem at all. That's what it looks like. It is stunning. I absolutely love it, 
and it's just so pretty. All right, the last color, love this color. I believe I wore this in one of my vlogs. I will link my vlog channel down below for you guys to check it out. And I did wear this to my stepson's recital, and this one is called Rose Petal. I believe this is the one I wore, and it is beautiful. It's just a deeper purple. It, they kind of stuck to that mauve tone except the red, and that's what it looks like. It is stunning. I really want you guys to look at that. Absolutely beautiful. All these are beautiful. This is by far the best liquid lipstick I have ever tried personally. I haven't tried too many high ends, which I have, but this is by far my favorite. I wouldn't say it compares to like the Anastasia. Definitely not an Ofra liquid lipstick. Like I said, it's something I have never tried. At first, you're gonna be like, it kind of applies just like ColourPop. When you first put it on, just like ColourPop. Dries almost like ColourPop, but ColourPop is transfer. This one does not transfer. It's absolutely wonderful. I would definitely check it out. I will try to find their website and link it down below. I don't know if they're running any promos. Like I said, I got mine at TJ Maxx, which was a bargain. And I would definitely check out their makeup like periodically because they did have the Anastasia Contour Palette, which I have that already, but I would have bought it. But I just want to let you guys know, I absolutely love this liquid lipstick. By far, my best one I have ever tried. Yes, I'm going to say that and I'm going to take it and roll with it because if I try a better one, I will definitely let you guys know. But if you like these type of videos, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on all my social media at CCLand1 and I will see you in my next video. Bye.